Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Carrier. We uh, need to get to the flight deck, I believe. And uh, I've kind of been running around exploring some areas, wasting ammo and, you know, health <laughs> and general uh, survivability resources. Uh, but it's been, uh, it's been fun. So we're going to head out and go over this way, over this way, over this way. Please no zombie. Okay. Uh, then we will go this way and go through the door that we did not go through before, which is going to be, I think, up a ladder over here. Yeah, right here. Okay, and that is not the door. Hmm. Oh, no, yeah, it's a little bit farther in. Okay. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Um, we could technically check, I guess. I Is this one the, the winch room? I, I don't know. I'm going to explore it. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. That's right. I think I may have tried that uh, last time. But uh, the door that we want is going to be back in this room. I feel like I hear zombies. I definitely hear zombies, but nonetheless, we have to go down this ladder. All right, zombie, where are you at? No zombie. Zombie? No zombie, I don't believe you. Is he hiding? Doesn't seem to be. Maybe it's just the ambient music uh, doing its thing. Uh, well, I think we need to go down that hallway, maybe. But I want to see. Was uh, is this the uh, the room with the guy that shoots people? <laughs> I'd like to know. Oh, this is the room uh, with a definitely. Uh, Some zombies that need to get shot. Anybody else? Yeah, so definitely uh, this was the room. We did not rescue this guy. I don't know if there's any way that we could. Maybe maybe if we uh, would have like shot him back as Jack once, uh, he would have. But I don't know. What's this? Nameplate obtained. I don't know if I know what that's for. Nothing important going on with that. And, uh... Everything else seems normal. Various documentations, etc., etc. Uh, let's take a... Excuse me, uh, let's <clears throat> take a look... At this. Ah, with a 9 digit crew number. Maybe I do need this. That said, I'm still gonna go the other way. Thing is, I thought Jack got that item, but maybe, uh, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh God, this is still uh, broken. But, but will it work? Or will it work? Yes. Okay. No, we just had to uh, to do that. Is it the same pattern? It's like left, more left, and then middle. Let's give it a try here. See if I oh I say let's see if I still got it. The answer is a resigning. No, no, I do not. That should have been open because uh, Jack never made such mistakes, <laughs> except for the you know first few times. Oh come on! I mean I get that I didn't do it, but at the same time, is this really necessary at this point in the game? 
All right, one more time. A little bit like that. Right through, and thank Christ. Oh, real nice. Well, at least I can still open everything. That should lead me back to, uh... Yeah, back to there where I can save the game. I think the other room... Does that lead to the winch room? It might. I am gonna save, though. Okay, good. So I know that this elevator here should take me to the flight deck. I don't have, like, too much hope that it'll actually work. Which also reminds me, I think there's some medical stuff in this hallway. I don't know if I ever picked it up as Jack. Isn't it, like, down here? Yeah, right here. Can I get to it without the plant smacking me? I don't know. I can. Oh, no, I guess I did get it. All right. Well, in that case, so we can't, we just can't go that way. So I guess that uh, pretty much solves that problem. Well, let's try this out and see if it works. No zombies in here, so that is good. Will it work? No. So we have to find a different way to get upstairs. I'm not actually sure what that is. I guess there's this door? Well, this door seems to be locked. And uh, the one upstairs doesn't work either, I don't think. What if I... Uh... Take the elevator. Is this the one? No, no power. No power. And, uh, yeah, deck three. And I'm back here. Of course I am. Well, shit. Uh, I opened uh, the partition on deck. So there's going to be something on deck four. We did get that nameplate, so I guess maybe I do have to go in that direction now that I think about it. Uh, which means, I believe, we got to go back through here. Yeah, if I get the nameplate, that means I do have to go back to, like, all the way back to deck five. Uh, which is not, like, that big a deal, I guess, but it's kind of annoying a little bit. Uh, let me go like this. Let me do something like that. Just in case I have to come back this way, I don't want to have to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I could have just run right through. But if I end up circling around, I would like to be able to come back this way if, uh, if need be, I guess. Is what I'm trying to uh, say here. So I need to go up this ladder. And then I th think you go this way. And I believe this is eventually going to lead us back to uh, that deck five hatch. 
Just checking for the old zombos, nothing there. And then we go through here. Okie dokie. Then I think you gotta go this way. Seems clear. Uh, let's round the corner and take another look. Also seems clear. I don't think that guy's respawned. Yeah, okay. So I think we're alright. And down we go. All right, we'll save once again now that we're down here so we don't have to uh, make another trip. If the worst should happen. Sweet. All right, hopefully these zombies that were down here did... Captain Lang. Lieutenant Manning? I heard you were okay from the Colonel. I'm glad to see that with my own eyes. I'm glad to see that you're well, too. I'm not so easy to kill, you know. How's your search coming? Things are going well. I have received some data on ARC from the doctor and taken some pictures. You saw it? Yes. It has grown to an enormous size near the nuclear core on Deck 6. The nuclear core. Amazing strength. Interesting. Captain, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry. So, you only have some data and images. Did you get a sample? No, just the data and images. Hmm. Then I'll get the sample. You get the data and images to headquarters as fast as you can. But it's my job. Don't worry. It doesn't matter who does it. You get out as quickly as you can and begin to analyze the data. Yes, sir. Here, this is an airtight capsule to store the sample. And this is what they were chatting about. Captain Lang, Lieutenant Manning. Jack? I'm glad to see that both of you are okay. Is everything okay? It's nothing. Lieutenant Manning and I were just discussing our duties. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Yeah. Yes, that's right. I see. Let's cut the chit-chat. Everybody knows what they have to do. We're running out of time. Well, <laughs> I'm getting a little deja vu here. Hello. Let's cut the chit-chat. Everybody knows what they have to do. We're running out of time. Anything from you? Lieutenant, take care. Get out of here as soon as you can. Will do. So, uh, yeah, we, we know we, we know what Lang is possibly interested in based on the ending to, uh, to Jack's story. Alright, so these guys are not back. Thank God. Alright. Come over here, and uh, where is the door? This way. I think it's this one anyway. And that looks all clear. Yeah, we need to go through here, I believe. Alright. Nameplate discarded, that is fine. Through we go. Jessifer! Sandra, it's good to see you're okay! Mm. Thanks. To tell you the truth, I had given up all hope when the door suddenly shut. It looks like the main computer is running wild. That must be the cause of the malfunction. 
The main computer? What a pain. Oh, yeah. The data is in the medical room. Can I ask you to go and get it? I'll deactivate the security lock and find an escape route. There's not much time. It's better if we split up. We'll meet up again later. Be careful, Sandra. Yeah, you too. Yo, 100% not better if you split up. Give give that woman the at least give her the welder. <laughs> so she can defend herself. Um Okay, well I actually don't really remember where what's where, so just going to go this way and hope for the best. I'm going to keep an eye out for bad guys. All right, there's a medical room here. So, uh, yeah, I believe this is going to be the direction. Hello, you. And you went belly up. Excellent. Just the way I like to see my fishes asleep and dead. All at the same time. Uh, okay. In here is where we're going to find that data, I think. And then I'm uh, expecting some horrible shit to happen. Okay, what do we got? Object, a man fish. Very well. Prepare for death. I think I got him. Perfect trigger discipline, as always. <laughs> Alright, part of the body is gone. And where's the data? The data. The data is on the desk. There it is. Let's grab you. This must be the data Sandra was talking about. Possible military usage of ARC. Yeah, I think we've seen this, but uh, NTA Information Department, Section 1, Sandra Cates. I, Lieutenant Sandra Cates, along with Lieutenant Mark, still well boarded the handle to stop. Any all terrorist activity on the Southern Cross, I've also been asked to investigate the possibility that the Weapons Development Department uh, is developing biological weapons. Lieutenant Stillwell has been excluded from any knowledge pertaining to this mission. Um, Captain Connolly and his team who boarded with ARC showed no indications that they were analyzing ARC during the panic of the engine room incident. It seems clear that they were able to acquire a sample. The ship has become full of mutants during the mayhem and chaos. It was able to sneak into the research lab. I was able to make a copy of the orders for um, from Colonel Bryan uh, of the Devel Development Department, Section 3. According to this, uh, the orders, uh, ARC is much more dangerous than we could have ever imagined. All of the mutants on board the ship are apparently host to ARC's destiny of destruction. It is no longer possible to remove ARC from the ship, but if ARC does make it off the ship, I recommend that Colonel Bryan be detained and questioned. Appendix. Uh, ARC Research Report, ARC Infestation Report, Appendix A, ARC Research Order Confidential, uh, NTA Development Department, Session 3, Former Chief Greg Bryan, uh, Development Team, Session 3, uh, investigate the possible uh, military usage of ARC and provide a detailed report, Appendix B, ARC Infestation Report, and Propagation. When ARC germinates, it releases a soft green tissue. Uh, this tissue attaches itself to a living organism, and using the organism as a host, it begins... Its propagation growing into a large plant-like organism affects the infestation on subject. The host of ARC loses all physical and mental control. In addition, the subject shows incredible strength and rejuvenation abilities. The strength and resistance to gunfire by infested crew on the ship is proof of this. This is a biological weapon. The parasitic organism shows an incredible ability to adjust to its environment and protect itself. The resistance to gunfire and ability to attack uh, is proof of this. Potential for military use is astronomical. I better hurry up and find Sandra. I wonder where she is. Oh, where is she indeed? All right, let's uh, let's run outside here. Can we go past you this way? Yes, we can. Okay. All right. Do we have new zombies? We do not. Not yet. What about this way? You zombie? No. Alright, I'm guessing she went... I don't know. 
but maybe up but uh, I kind of want to go this way and just take a look I feel like I may have left some stuff down here the red flashing is a little annoying every time I use this stupid thing I think this is a magazine right here actually yeah magazine too uh, well we'll check in here for some stuff nothing in there I don't remember what I looted with Jack, of course, and what I didn't, so we just gotta check. But uh, I feel like I may have looted some, or most, or all of this. And can't get in this one? Oh no, there we go. A T9 bomb. What, uh, what joy that brings me. All right, in here, uh, where's the front? Just the side with the latch here. Oh, didn't mean to do the uh, the quick turn. All right, so T7 bombs in that one. Grenades in this one. Okay, so I did uh, probably decide to not loot this one at all. Yeah, a couple machine gun mags. Very nice to have. Keeping us well stocked and pistol and stuff. Yep. All right. Nice. Let's drop a save, I think. And we'll be on our way. Now, while I'm down here, I'm going to just check to see if she uh, did go this way. Okay, there's one guy there. I see him. And uh, nothing this way. So I'm going to go this way first. Just double checking. Uh, because of stuff like that. There's another guy over here, even. Can I search you? Nothing uh, to see there, I guess. All right. I don't recall there being any security stations down here. Which is why I suspect that she's not here. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna loot what I can. Nothing in there, so I guess Jack already grabbed that. And I don't think we need to, uh, worry about what's going on there. And, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything in here, so... Let's, uh, go to the other end of the hall also, just probably do that real fast. Okay, are there any surprises? Uh, shark, mutant, zombies. I don't see any. I know there's one at the uh, near the other end of this hall, though. Right there. So let's deal with this guy. We're a little bit too far away. Seems to be stuck on the terrain. Which is uh, adorable, but sadly, sir, you must perish. Just so. And in here, we have a lot of water, but, uh, again, not much, not much else. I think uh, I've searched this room pretty thoroughly with Jack, as I recall. See if I can do anything with this guy. It doesn't look like I can. So she's not here. Definitely not going to be here.
Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess the only thing to do is to uh, run back and save at the mag uh, once again, and then go back upstairs and see if we can track her down. Yeah.